From the ribbon under cross section step, click on icon planimetry. In dialog box, define the area, select all cross sections, define the type of planimetry quantity, material and planimetry polygon definition. Click on lane L1 and define a point under this line. Repeat the procedure and click on lane L2 and the point below this line. For the right side, select another planimetry polygon definition between two polylines. As additional settings, select under reference polyline. Click on lane R2, press enter, and then click on another three polylines, which represent a border of the polygon. Press enter. Continue with the second layer of payment. Select inner point polygon definition in the dialog box and click on the line which represents the upper edge of the second layer of payment and a point below. Continue with lane L2 and lane R2. Continue with the base course. Define base material in the dialog box. Other settings stay the same. Click on the upper line of substructure and the point below this line. The base course is defined. Continue with the sub-base course. Define sub-base material. Other settings stay the same. Click on the upper line of substructure and the point below this line. The sub-base course is defined. To define fill, click on parametric icon, select fill material, between two polylines planimetry polygon definition and above reference polygon setting. Click on terrain line, press enter, and then click on polylines that represent a border of the polygon. It's important that you select polylines in order from left to right or reverse. Press enter. To define cut, click on planimetry icon, select cut material, between two polylines planimetry polygon definition and under reference polyline setting. Click on terrain line, press enter, and then click on polylines that represent a border of the polygon. It's important that you select polylines in order from left to right or reverse. To calculate material quantity takeoff, define the area, select all cross section, check insert in drawing option and define an insertion point in the drawing. For summary of quantities calculation, define an insertion point in the drawing. In every cross section, there is a list of materials and calculated values for each of them. In the drawing, we also have a quantity takeoff table with a summary of quantities calculation for entire alignment.